I'm sure these two walked the convention floor. I haven't done it yet. Last huh? year, I, I literally walked almost into Josh Whedon, and I'm like, you walk the floor? Well, you see, you know, you see, 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 and I was, it was, it was that you see, that that proves my point. He is. Tom Cruise can walk the convention Josh Whedon is not it. Tom Cruise. I love Josh Whedon. No, you're right. Yes. But maybe Tom Cruise has this guy? Yes, that's what I said. Yes, and that is the way As Josh Whedon. Oh, as Josh Whedon. That would be awesome. Okay, we have to start the interview. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, you guys introduce yourself. Four times, please. I'm Michelle Fazekas, Tara Butters. And what do you guys do? We're the creators of the show. Okay, good. Uh, okay. All right, big show. So you have all the answers. Yeah. yeah. I'm not telling you, but yes, I do. Okay. You have, you have to tell us since we don't know anything about the show. So you can't okay. use the no spoiler rule. Yeah. That's what I'm about to say. Can you tell us, tell us a, a little bit? Yeah. Tell us about the pilot. The pilot is uh, there's a plane crash. It initially seems like there's no survivors, and then this ten, they find this 10 year old girl, and she has no memory. And Allison Tolman plays a police chief in a small town in uh, Long Island. And then she figures out that somebody's after this girl, and they try and grab her from the hospital. So Allison just takes her home with her, like to protect her. And then it's all about who is this kid? Um, where did she come from? Who's after her? And what is special? There's something special about this kid uh, that we don't know yet. And, but really, it's all, so it's part conspiracy thriller and part family because she just sort of absorbs her into her family, and, and that is based on a, a real story of a woman that my husband used to work with, whose mom was a cop, and basically I, I just sort of took her in and adopted her, just a matter of practicality. And was she an alien? <laughs> uh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so, so, give it, give us the you get you gave us the summary of the show, but give us the high level like why should we like invest our time? In? What what are the key elements that's going to excite us? You know what? I totally our touchstones were Spielberg of mo the movies we grew up with. So Close Encounters, uh, E.T. Where there was a little bit of magic, it's there's like the, this it's our world, but there's one magical thing. About and it. so we wanted to have to share that experience with our kids when we, because I'll be honest with you, a 14 year old and a 11 year old, and I'm always looking for something that I can watch with them. And, it, and that was what Age of Carter was for me. Things that kind of like it was exciting and fun, and in this show a little scary, and kind of wanted to. Experience extend that experience with them. And so I hope that that's what we deliver week to week on the show. It's something that you can watch with a family, but it's got a little scary. It's got uh, an Alice and Tolman. Yeah. I mean, you so need any other reason. In terms of the girl, is it who she knows, or is it something like a Stranger Things, that something's inside her? There's definitely something special about her. Okay. okay. So it's like it, a Stranger it's, Things it, kind of a, thing? There is definitely, this is definitely has a sci-fi element to it. Okay. okay. In the trailer, the big bad is kind of mysterious. Is that yeah. going to stay a mystery for most of the season, or will we find out pretty early on? We will develop that throughout the season, but the fact is you will, we will give you answers. There, we will definitely... And we'll give you answers early. Yeah. Um, I don't think... Uh, I get frustrated watching a show where you feel like you figured it out and the show just doesn't want to tell you yet. So we're going to give answers early, but even the answers you have aren't the whole answer. And, yeah. my, and then, my, what, my question is, you guys have such a large cast and you basically have only described two characters. What, what's the rest of your cast? Well, it's a family. So the fact is, Clancy Brown plays um, Alston Tolman's father. Um, he is living with the family. He's also recovering from cancer. So, like, he there's there's that kind of multi generational element. Donald Faison is recently divorced from Alison Tolman's character, and they're still like trying to figure out how to be divorced and aren't aren't always able to. It's, I like keeping it in that messy area. Um, they have a daughter, Mia, um, who they both love and uh, is super excited when this little girl comes into their lives because she she's embraces her as part of the family. So that's the family element of it. And 
then we have um, uh, Benny Gallagher, who's played by Owen, um, who is sort of this mysterious guy who comes in, who's there uh, investigating the plane crash. And then we also have the character of Chris, who is a deputy who works for, or a police officer that works for. So that's sort of, it is a large cast, but the family is the core. And then her being a police officer and how that touches the mystery is also part of it. So we will be jumping in between those storylines. One of the things you're most excited for, for audiences to see with this series is there's something that stands out, which like, I can't wait for this, without giving too much away. <laughs> It to blend genre, so there's hopefully tense action sequences and sweet emotional moments. And I mean, I don't know, I, I love so many different things. Mm -hmm. I think there's something for everyone. I think if you don't, if you don't like sci-fi, if you're a person who doesn't normally like sci-fi, there's a lot of uh, other elements in the show that you can live into. If you feel like you only like sci-fi and don't really like like family drama or something, it's like I, I feel like there's a lot here that would appeal to a lot of people. But without, without feeling like trying to appeal to the lowest common denominator, it's like it's, it's specific. I think. I love Allison and Donald and scenes together. I love uh, uh, Allison and Clancy. I mean, it's the, the cast is great. And they're like the cast you see on every show. They, they, they're unique, and I feel like that they 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 feel real. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.